Okay, Steve, what we need to do is we need to up the ante, okay? We've got to up things a bit because, well, it still involves you. So I thought maybe you could give me a, a dance routine or something, or is there anything else that you could do that we haven't shown the audience yet? You know, maybe, well, I know, I know. Oh no, you don't do that anymore, do you? Can you still fly an aeroplane? Or have you stopped? Ronnie? Got any ideas? We just need to like, make it a little bit more sexy. We need a, a more sort of sexy, like cool, funky kind of video thing we're going for. You got, got any ideas? Nah, me neither. I know. How about we start a whole new documentary series at the ridge in the style of Jeremy Clarkson and Clarkson's farm on Amazon. We could try that, couldn't we? Okay, we'll go for it. Let's see how it comes out. All right. Hello, my name's Julian and I, along with my partner Rachel, run Jacob's Ridge Animal Sanctuary in Spain. Over the past few years, it has been incredibly challenging to keep the sanctuary alive, and we've been coming up with various ideas to keep the animals safe, cared for, and fed and sheltered. So follow us and follow this channel to see what we get up to and the ideas that we explore to keep the sanctuary going, all in the spirit of good fun, enjoyment and at the heart of everything we do it's for the survival of the sanctuary thank you <laughs> ah he's so lovely he's so lovely <laughs> when you tell people that you run an animal sanctuary the normal response is one of wonder and fluffiness and ah oh, isn't that lovely but the truth of the matter is when you have a sanctuary full of animals one thing that you can be damn certain of is that there's gonna be poo and at jacob's ridge there's a lot of it particular weapon of choice is this, the Solace 26, with the Metro style front loader capable of carrying 500 kilograms, which is absolutely necessary when you have to carry the big bales of the poop inducing food that we have delivered here every month. This machine is designed purely to keep the animals pooping and to clear the poop up once they've done all the pooping. It's a pooping facilitator. Now the thing is, Freddy, my son, is here for a short while over the summer months just to help us a little bit get on top of things and also um, to uh, to uh, you know, have a little break from the lockdown that we've all been suffering so anyway I thought what a good idea if I get him to do the poop scraping what he doesn't understand and what he doesn't really know 
is that when you scrape this field with poop, you just get clouds and clouds and clouds of dusty poop. And it gets everywhere. It gets in your hair, it gets in your eyes, it gets in your ears, it gets everywhere, every crease. And the, what makes it worse is you're sweating. So it actually sticks to you as well. So I think we'll let Freddie do this one. Yeah. So um, we need to scrape the field of all the poop. I need, I need someone to drive the tractor. Driving tractors? Come on. You like driving tractors? Absolutely not. Come on, you can drive a tractor. There is nothing that you can say that's going to make me drive a tractor. I don't trust you. Why don't you trust me? I don't know. Deal? Let me think about it. No, come on, you got to give me the deal right now. All right, deal. <laughs> I was thinking if we get the tractor stuck, then we can pretend that it's stuck and that will create drama. What do you think? Could do. do. Or any other drama you can think of? We could just get it stuck. Well, no, don't actually get it stuck. I mean, like, we could pretend to get it stuck and then the whole drama is that the audience will go, oh my God, they got the, the tractor stuck. Do you see what I'm saying? Good work. I mean, probably letting everyone know that's the plan is probably not the best idea, but... No, well, we can edit this bit out. True, true. So we'll just cut this bit out and then just get the tractor stuck and then it's like, oh my God, you got the tractor stuck. Yeah. Okay, okay go and get the tractor stuck. Let's have a look. Okay. We've got one small problem though. Yeah, but I explained to you, we weren't supposed to actually get it stuck. It was spoke, we were pretending to get it stuck. Well, this is on you then. It's, it's not on me. me. No, I, I said to you, you, let's pretend to get the tractor stuck but to make drama. I didn't tell you to actually get it stuck. Who drives a tractor on top of an old muck heap towing a half a ton thing? Where else are we meant to get it stuck? Well, you could have just like put it in a little bit and gone, oh, it's stuck a little bit, but you've actually got it stuck it now. It's not believable if you just get the wheel stuck. It is believable. It's 100% believable. We can't get it off there now. Well, we can. It's four wheel drive. We just have to get some wood or something. I don't know. <sighs> Zig it out. You don't get this, do you? You don't Zig get it. This is, this is just drama, creating drama for YouTube so people enjoy watching us, not actually creating more work. Don't you think we've got enough work as it is? I mean, we. I mean, we could go for a swim and just leave it. It's now part of the poo pile. <laughs> we can't leave a tractor as part of the poo pile. Well, why not? Oh yeah, well over there, I've got that poo pile over there. It's got a tractor in it. That one over there's got a dumper in it. That one over there's got some rakes in it and some shovels. And this one, oh yeah, it's got a little tractor in it. <sighs> I worry about you, Freddie. It's your fault, mate. It's your fault. Don't blame the horses. Well, so um. I don't think you should go around blaming the horses for getting the truck to start. Why do you think he's joined us? So he's saying sorry, mate. Well, it's actually a she, but okay. Uh, she. <laughs> I thought this was from Merlin. No, that's Dakota. Oh, that's Dakota. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm not huge on who's who are at the moment. Do all horses look the same to you? At the moment, yes, apart from Jacob. Come here. Look, you can tell this is Dakota because she's got her ears slightly back, always. She wants to bite you in the head, <laughs> but she's quite cute. <laughs> and she does love, she loves a little head scratch. That's what she really loves. Don't you? <laughs> Such a huge dog. <laughs> All our horses are huge dogs. I'm not sure, really, Dakota. What should we do now? 
We've got a. You're going to tow the uh, tractor out after you drove it in. We've got a tractor there. stuck. She did get the tractor stuck. She just drove it in. Not a care in the world. Oh. Okay. So, um, any ideas for an additional drama? Additional drama. What else could we do? What else happens at the ridge at the on the Jeremy Clarkson thing? One second. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's like if only the animals would do something that would be quite entertaining. I know. I know. Come on, guys. Jeez. I haven't got any ideas, have they? Um. Okay. Well, Dakota, you got any? Got any ideas for some more drama? I don't think we want drama, but I mean, pretend drama. Uh, we could have a fight by the pool, and then someone just gets punched in. A okay, fight. You. Yeah. Okay. All right, then, so what we'll do then, is so we'll have an argument, and then we'll have... Me punch you, and you just fly backwards. And well, why am, I, why am I the one? Because you're the old one. Yeah, but you're, you're like a kid. Yeah, but the thing is, if they watch you, because they, they know you more, they don't know me as well. So yeah, but if there's a fight, I, yeah, yeah, but if the there's a fight, I don't care if it's pretend one, I'm, I'm winning. <laughs> no. I am. No. Yes, I am. No. Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> So there was a, a fight, um, and it was to determine who won the fight. I made it really clear I win the fight, always. It was meant to be a, a pretend fight.